Well, yeah, I'm here with Isaac Copeland, and we were talking about your recruitment a little bit earlier, and uh, you mentioned Georgetown and Florida State right now are the two places you're going to be taking the officials to, and um, you said they were kind of at the top of your list. If you could maybe just uh, embellish on that a little bit more for my viewers, if you could. Yeah, um, those are two of my favorite schools right now. Um, I don't really have like a, a set list or anything like that, but I know those two are the main, the main ones I'm feeling the most, like the best about. So I just want to go back and get another look at this, both the schools. So I plan on taking those probably after the end of the season, sometime around there. And we talked a little bit about it earlier, but you, you mentioned uh, your, your mom uh, is a UNC alum. Your dad went to East Carolina, but you grew up a, a Dukey fan. Uh, <laughs> so how, how did that all work out? How did you not become a, a UNC fan? Well, at first it started out just as something to get on my mom's nerves. But then <laughs> after a while, I really realized they're a great program. And... I just became a fan. And locally, Charlottesville people here in, uh, in the town would obviously want to know about your interest in UVA. If you could just summarize that again f for my viewers, if yeah. you could. Where, where does Virginia kind of stand now? I have strong interest in uh, the University of Virginia. Uh, they have great basketball facilities and also great academics. So and I talk to their coaches quite often, and they come to some of my local games and everything. So. I'll get it. So just in there. And I didn't ask you about this earlier, but t t that jam last night you had versus Covenant was pretty sick. Um, that was an inbounds play. Coach told me you've been working on it a lot in practice, but that was the first time that it actually worked. You said it was one of the best dunks you've, you've had in, in your <laughs> brief career here. Take me through that if you could. I mean, how that, that set play that you guys ran. Yeah, well, we've tried it a couple of times this year and it didn't quite work out. So, um, <laughs> and then in the play before that, I actually went to the basket and the kid blocked my shot. The kid actually I dunked on, and uh, so I was kind of upset, and I was like, I want to do this play right now, and uh, fortunately it worked, and it turned out to be a really good highlight. And they called a tee, which I thought was totally bogus, because yeah. the kid was right underneath you. You mm -hmm. were basically just protecting yourself by hanging on the rim. Was was that kind of your take as well? Or? Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I was just hanging on the rim just to make sure I didn't fall on his head or anything like uh -huh. that. So. And just to sum it, uh, conclude it, your recruitment, when do you kind of hope to whittle the lists and, and things like that and come to a couple, you know, make the list a little shorter? Yeah, um, definitely after this season. Right mm -hmm. now I'm just focusing on basketball, mm -hmm. you know, this season, hopefully mm -hmm. winning states this year. Mm -hmm. and, um, so I'm not really worried about recruiting right now. But so after the, after the season, I'll probably make a list. Awesome. Well, thank you, Isaac, for joining me here on YD365.